In this video, I'll demonstrate how to set up and align a DirecTV Slimline satellite dish. Uh, this will be the single wire multi-switch version, which is most common now, and I'll show here the setup that I'm using and how everything's connected. And uh, hopefully this will come together pretty well, and it'll help you if you're out and about and you need to set up a satellite dish. My setup here isn't very fancy. I just mounted the dish on a couple of sawhorses. Typically you would use a tripod or a sled mount uh, would obviously be much more stable, but I just set this up in my front yard so we'll be able to uh, demonstrate this. I'll be using the three LNB swim uh, LNB assembly. You see it's just got the one coax output uh, and the swim label. That's how you know it's swim. Uh, this procedure would also work for the 5 uh, LNB version, but that's not really needed in most locations. And this dish, this way, is a little bit easier to set up. You don't have to worry about the dish's tilt setting uh, so much when you're just setting up the 3 LNB version. I have an H25 HD receiver and a little portable TV uh, that I've brought out here with me to be able to see the signal meters. So I'm not going to be using any special satellite signal finders. I'll just be using the meters that are built into the H25 and the other DirecTV receivers are very, very similar. To initially aim the dish, um, you just need to look up the settings for your specific location. Uh, the dishpointer.com site uh, is very, very useful for that. You just enter in your address and it'll even give you mapping tools. Um, you can select the required 3 LNB or 5 LNB slimline dish and it'll give you line of sight. In my situation here, I've kind of done that already. You'll see I have some trees um, that I'm wrestling with. There are also very, very useful mobile apps. Um, I'll show you an inset here of a dish pointer app that I like to use and that will kind of help you see in the sky where the various satellites are. Um, and then here's also what you get from uh, dishpointer.com. You get some of the maps to show roughly where to aim. At my location, I need to set the elevation to about 31 degrees. Again, that's a starting point. Of course, it's crucial that you have your mast perfectly plumb. I think I've done that already. This mast, we'll see if I can show you, has a very handy little bubble level right inside the mast to help you with that. But of course you can use a straight level. Um, obviously if your mast isn't level, the rest of your settings are gonna be pretty challenging. So once you set the elevation, um, you're pretty much good to go. You kind of roughly aim uh, the azimuth, uh, that's the left and right settings, and uh, you will turn on the receiver to the signal meters and uh, begin to try to find the signals. And once we've initially found that signal at 101, we can peak that and then use these fine adjustments. They call that dithering. We'll use these fine adjustments to maximize the readings from the 99 and 103 degree high def satellites. If you are using the 5 LNB assembly, you do have to worry about this tilt setting um, in my location, it's at 109. I've already set that. But again, for the 3 LNB assembly, it's really not that crucial. So we'll power up the H25, and it's going to take a few minutes before we get to the satellite setup screen. And so we'll, uh, we'll jump ahead here a bit to save you that delay. Um, it's real handy to use a portable TV uh, like this one when you're out and about. Um, that way you can see exactly what's going on, where you are with the dish. Um, the other option is you have somebody relay those readings to you remotely by uh, uh, either yelling through a window or via cell phones. Uh, but it's real nice when you can bring the receiver out with you. So this will take a few more minutes and uh, We'll come back when we have the signal reading screen ready to go. It's been about three minutes. Um, the nice thing with the swing, swim single wire multi-switch uh, LNBs is the, uh, the receiver should automatically discover the dish type. And of course, it's searching for a signal because we haven't aimed the dish yet. So if I press menu on the remote, 
we can get into the satellite setup screen. So we're going to go to signal strength. And there we go. So right now, of course, we're reading zeros because we haven't aimed our dish yet. So let's go about and start doing that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna move the dish first side to side. The elevation was set, hopefully it's close. And uh, we'll just move it till we start to pick up some signals. So part of the trick here is just really slow incremental motions. Um, you don't wanna move very far and you don't wanna move very fast. I'm watching the signal meter screen over here. There we go. Yep. Wake you up. Okay, so at this point, what I like to do is go to one of the actual signal uh, transponders and so we do that here under signal meters and we're going to want to peak um, we can probably just pick transponder one here and we're going to peak that um, as high as we can to peak the main 101 degree satellite so let's go into the signal meter screen and now it's actually going to start beeping for us and uh, we can just tweak this thing to maximize that signal. The nice thing with the signal meter uh, strength screen here is it's faster. We've gone too far. Too far again. So it looks like 85 is about the best I'm going to get from uh, swinging the azimuth. And I'm going to tweak the elevation. So let me lock this down. swing the elevation up and down a bit. All right, let's see how the other readings look now. So
So we got most of them up in the 90s, a few there close to 100. So that pretty much completes our, our main uh, 101 adjustment. Okay, so now let's peak this uh, on 99. First thing you wanna do is tighten up this nut here so that the dither adjustment has something to lock against. And then you want this to be a little bit loose so that it has some play. And then you just start turning. It's getting lower. Go back the other way. getting lower again so go back a bit I think that's about as good as it's going to get. So let me lock this one down. And we'll tweak the other direction. better. Gotten smaller again. That's about as good as she's going to get. Okay, let's lock that down. And now let's check 
bigger screen. So those still look pretty good. Won't see anything on those. So you get the idea, um, you know, I think, again, if I were out camping, I would call these up in the high 80s, 90s, uh, good enough. Um, you can fiddle with the dithering adjustments a bit and possibly increase those a few points, but uh, again, when you're out and about camping, it, it won't really matter too much. If you were doing this for a home installation, you might want to spend a little more time tweaking those adjustments uh, to get those signal readings up as high as you can. But for now, I would call this good, and let's say we're done here, and let's get out of this. So now it can acquire all of the information it needs, and uh, we'll have live TV here in a minute or two. And there we go. We have achieved a good satellite dish setup here. Again, I hope this information helps you. We will uh, call this a wrap. So once you've done setting up the dish, again, you'll want to make sure that all of your uh, nuts are nice and snug. Uh, these three are what secure the azimuth setting. These two here uh, lock down the elevation setting. Make sure these guys are tight on your dither adjustments and, uh, and you're good to go. Hopefully you found this video useful and uh, whether you're setting up a, a campsite, an RV, or installing a dish at a, at a home, um, it's really not that difficult. You don't need any specialized meters or equipment to do it. You just need uh, some good uh, mapping tools to show you where to aim. Uh, the smartphone app is really handy and uh, a little portable TV makes it a snap.